when the town councils spend money on street repairs, it is taxpayers' money, you know. In the same way as when government spends, it is taxpayers' money. However, they are elected. When they spend, oh, that's what I'm coming to. Uh, when they spend, they hire the persons that they wish to hire. So when government spends, to me it is perfectly in order that government should provide the list for the list of recommendees for employment. So I will not resign from that at all. Uh, no caretaker has anything to do with the money. As I indicated, we have entered into the contract with Woods directly. The mayor of Danguiga selected the streets. The only thing he doesn't get to do is to pick the employees and even then I gave him 10%. Recollect that before the last election, that $20 million in housing money that the Venezuelans gave, which was spent in one month, no opposition person saw a penny. Recollect that the $7,000 a month that the opposition representatives in the House get for the setting up of offices and for a sport voter. You find out from them how many of them even have an office. By and large, they put that money into their pockets. So they are the last ones uh, to talk along those lines. The point is that Danguiga is getting a half a million dollars worth of works. No UDP town council has got more than $200,000. They're getting the most. PG comes next with 350. I would think that they would be grateful that in fact this government is doing for their towns and doing for the residents of their towns. And as I said to you yesterday, the mayor certainly of Danguiga pronounced himself ecstatic that government was being so good.